few tips and techniques to increase your email marketing uh, click through rate and hopefully sales rate so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you need to know is is that the folks on your list are not actually customers yet if they haven't bought anything so you may hear some people refer to them as my list or readers I like to use the word prospects because everyone on your list is a prospective customer so your ultimate goal is to turn a prospect into a customer the very first thing you need to decide before you write anything is what do you want to accomplish with the email do you want to get the prospects to sign up for something do you want to sell a product or service do you want the prospect to tell their friends about your services or a specific website remember find out exactly what you want the email to accomplish what do you want them to do and then next see the email from the prospects point of view the, the prospect if you don't already have a relationship with them is looking at the email and asking these questions who the heck is this person emailing me what does this person want why should I care about this email what's in it for me and what do I do now your job is to answer the prospect you must convey answers to those questions without the prospect needing to guess anything if your prospect gets an email from you and has to guess what it's about or what they're supposed to do it's a failure the subject line here's where a lot of people make a mistake the only purpose of a subject line is to get the prospect to open the email period it should be enticing but short and it should not reveal anything about the content the subject line should be benefit oriented and entice the prospect to find out what's in it for me we're gonna have some examples later on your email must sound casual you want to act like you're emailing a good friend or a buddy use conversational tones don't use proper voice and most importantly always act like the email is intended for just that person the prospect use words like you or the first name don't use words like my list or all of my customers or everyone and don't be pitchy in the opening keep it short and to the point your content should be relevant to what you want them to do don't go off topic remember the only job of the email is to get them to click a link not to explain everything to them you can use bullet points to hint about the product or service but don't reveal too much use subheadings to break up long copy nobody wants to read four paragraphs of copy so use subheadings it breaks up into smaller sections and use phrases like why as I said and guess what etc to touch the prospect to read on you don't want them getting bored and closing your email the action remember what specifically do you want the prospect to do why should they take that action why should they take that action right now so you might use scarcity tactics such as a special price that goes up or a bonus that you know, is only available today or tomorrow and then you want to tell the prospect exactly what to do if they're supposed if you want them to click a link and enter an email address tell them that click this link enter your email address and finally the PS um, why do you want to use a PS well a PS is really just a final push to get the reader to take the action you want them to take so you should recap why they should take that action you should once again mention any bonuses or time restrictions and if you have testimonials throw a testimonial in there say hey you know this is what so and so said about this product or service etc now here's some subject line examples and you'll notice the first one Bob how to make a million dollars well it's not believable so if you got an email like this what would you do you'd probably assume it was spam and delete it a different one is hey Bob want to know a secret well this doesn't really answer anything it's not very revealing but it's using the first name in a conversational tone so that's a good correct subject line 
The next one, Bob, great deal on marketing videos. There's two things wrong with that. The first is that the first name, using the name, is not conversational. And the second is that it's too specific, as in marketing videos. So a better way of saying that would be, hey Bob, want to improve your marketing. Now it's still specific to marketing, but it's not down to specific, you know, to videos. So that would be a better example. Here's some common mistakes that uh, email marketers make quite often. Make an email too formal. Remember, keep it conversational. Uh, using a prospect's name too often. When you're talking to someone, to a friend or a buddy, you don't use their name every sentence, so don't use it in your email either. Not being clear about what the prospect is supposed to do. Remember, you need to tell them they need to know exactly what they're supposed to do. And not giving a specific reason why the prospect should act now. You have to give them a reason why they must do it now. Otherwise, they'll put it off. Even if they're interested, they'll put it off until tomorrow and the next day, and then they may just end up deleting the email and forgetting about it. And giving the prospect your life story. Look, I'm sure your life is really interesting, but your prospect probably doesn't care. So don't waste his or her time telling them your life story. And the most common mistake, I think, is using hype to coerce the prospect. The truth is that hype, for the most part, doesn't work anymore. Most people can recognize hype, and as soon as they see it, they're hitting that delete button. So be very careful about using hype. You know, you may, be in, may want to use a little bit, but definitely do not go overboard with it because it will cost you.